Yeah, so the thought process behind that is, is kind of interesting. Michael Franco, we had bat eighth when he was struggling a little bit. And one of the things it naturally forces you to do is be a tiny bit more patient. See the ball a little bit longer um, and understand that the pitcher's batting behind you. So you have to be hunting a pitch to drive and, and only a pitch to drive. And we thought it just might be something that, that kickstarts him a little bit. We feel very, very confident that it's not an indication that he can't hit in our three hole. He's done it for a long time. We know that there's a very good chance that he'll be back in our three hole at some point. And this is just a, a temporary move to, to, to see if we can put Oduble in a good position to succeed. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, we, were, uh, we were actually leaving the stadium and um, we walked by each other. And obviously, I I noticed them. Um, you know, we sh we share a a common love, and that, that's hitting dingers. Um, <laughs> no, it was cool. Obviously, you know his his little video went viral pretty quick. And guy's a character, but you know I think it just kind of reminds you that um, this game's meant to be fun. It was awesome, you know, especially meeting kids from different countries. That was the best part, you know. Uh, I know Canada's close, but we got to ride the bus with some of the Canadian kids, and then one of the kids handed me an Australian cap, and right when I was getting off, Team Australia was right there, and the coach was so stoked to see it, and all the kids are like, look what he's wearing, and that was an awesome moment. And the coach actually gave me a pin, so that was a pretty special moment. I thought it was incredible. Um, I thought these guys were, were particularly impressive. And I think like Reese is so natural on the bus with, our, with, with the kids. It's like, you know, there's, there's a genuine, I'm here to be in this with you and spend time with you and get to know you and give you a very good experience. And then there's the one that's kind of manufactured. And this, what these guys do is, is just the opposite. It's like, we actually are happy to be here. And you, and you can tell, in fact, at one point, I think Nick, and correct me if I'm wrong, was asking if we could stay over there for a little bit longer to watch a little bit more baseball and be around this for a little bit longer. We had guys leave the clubhouse here to go back over to the stadium to spend more time. This is what we want to do. We know it's big for baseball. We know that the relationship between Little League Baseball and Major League Baseball can advance our game, and we're not going to miss that opportunity. You asking me or, or the guys? So I, I would say that the moment we step out on the field for BP, it's going to start to turn towards business. And then when, when game time rolls around, I can assure you our guys are, are still going to be having fun like we always do, but we're going to be taking this, this responsibility very seriously. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful now. Um, and not that it, the historical Bowman Field was, wasn't beautiful in its own right beforehand, but um, just I think seeing the people that were walking around here uh, when I was here in 2014, seeing them, them here today and just kind of rekindling you know, relationships and, and having conversations and catching up, even if it's for, just for a quick moment, um, it jogs your memory. It brings back memories of my first taste of professional baseball. Um, which obviously is is quite quite exciting to think about. Pre leg kick, yep. Pre leg kick, different, completely different player. Well, hitter, yeah, completely different hitter. Absolutely, I don't even know if I could do what I used to do anymore. We just spread out. Yeah, just spread out, but get my foot down. <laughs> Rashawn, that was it. Was actually the first, he was the first guy I saw when I got off the bus. Um, like he always does, greeted me with a smile and a hug. Uh, director of smiles, if I remember correctly. And I don't know, like I said, it just jogs a lot of memories. I remember him stretching with us. He had his little routine that he used to do, and um, just little memories like that that kind of stick out to you. And Rashawn's a big part of this this organization, this this town.
Uh, just trying to worry about numbers less and trying to just breathe, you know, go in and have good at-bats, you know, just pitch by pitch, you know. We've been facing a lot of good pitchers, so I just trying to bench. Well, I just lately been trying to be shorter and just, you know, just be as simple as possible, and it's helped. I think I, I, I got it from one of the kids out there. And, and it wasn't right when we got off the buses. I was, I was walking up and started talking to, to a very young fan, and I gave him my Phillies hat, and he gave me this one.